Hi everyone, it's the 15th of December. Let's see what's behind our advent calendar door today. Ooh, another lovely, delicious illustration. We've got a mince pie topped with cream. Grab your paints and let's get started. So we need a little mince pie cup. It's quite a big one, isn't it? Um, and we're going to have it as an open topped mince pie. Controversial, I know. But I want to see some of the fruit inside it and then a big dollop of cream. And then a plate. Just a picture of the plate going. Continuing round behind, and then a fork. Nice one. Okay, so we've got that drawn in, and now we need to get some colours. Good old yellow ochre going to be really useful for the pastry but would nice to get a bit of color on the pastry so we'll get a little bit of burnt sienna in there as well we're becoming experts at this I think um, Payne's gray for a little bit of shadow so mix that in with some burnt sienna oh that might be quite useful for the raisins actually I need to go get just Payne's gray on its own this time Um, so we'll begin with that and then see what we've got next. So I'm going to pop in a little bit of some shadow underneath the plate. Nice and dilute that colour and then just a little bit a little bit round the edge and then the fork is going to be metallic so we can use the grey but I'm going to use it in a slightly different manner so I've got my smaller brush and I'm painting it in slightly more concentrated but you'll see that I'm leaving out little bits of unpainted space to create that little fork. Okay, now I'm going to move up to the actual uh, mince pie here and I'm going to take just a tiny bit of that yellow ochre, bring it down to my Payne's Grey, very dilute, and I'm going to colour in the cream sort of the outline there and then a little bit of actual shadow underneath the nice thing with these illustrations is everything dries rather fast so I can now start to paint in my pastry case so I started with the outer edges now I'm drawing the colour in, but just with a little bit more water. And then I'm going to go back, get a bit more brown. Just create a bit more lovely sort of colour on the top. And then the pastry top. A little bit of unpainted space in there, it's quite nice. And then inside we've got the the mince meat, the mince, the mince meat. I wonder, I mean, mince pies are obviously very familiar to me, but um, does everybody, does everybody know a mince pie? Um, and mince meat sounds a bit strange, doesn't it, if you're not familiar with it. It's a, a mixture of spiced raisins and dried fruits. Uh, usually they've been sort of 
soaking in booze and alcohol. So I'm just adding a little bit of Payne's Grey there and there's all our little bits of mints inside. So that's all looking very nice, um, but we can do a few more bits. So I'm going to take a bit more concentrated Payne's Grey and just give our fork a little bit more detail. Smart little fork. Going to give our pastry a little bit more colour on the edge and our cream a little bit more, sort of almost a bit more flavour, maybe it's brandy cream. And then we'll do a nice decoration around the edge of the plate. I did a red plate the other day, so let's do a green, green plate pattern. These little patterns really help just define the edge of a white plate. Dashes get just a bit shorter around the side. Lovely. So we'll just let that dry and rub out the pencil and there's our lovely mince pie with brandy cream. With the pencil all rubbed out, this is often the point where I go, oh, I just want to add in a little bit more detail. Just a few more low lights into the mince meat and maybe just a few little speckles of maybe some sort of cinnamon sprinkling of some sort on the cream and that will be sort of on the plate as well. I think um, for me it's these moments that I love the best when I just add a few little extras onto something that is probably finished already. Anyway, there you go, a mince pie with brandy cream. I really hope you're enjoying the advent calendar as much as I am. Um, it's not that long to go until Christmas, so I really hope that you're really making the best of having these sort of 10 minute um, little timeouts uh, from all the potential rush of Christmas preparation. Um, the YouTube channel is always here for you to give you some creative escapism. And uh, thank you so much for your support as always. Right, see you tomorrow.